I have never felt happiness like I feel here. And it is so amazing because it can't be replicated anywhere else. And it is unlike anything else I've ever experienced. And it's something that I want to experience for the rest of my life. And I want to be able to provide that for other people. I want to become a counselor at Brave Trails so that I can provide moments like that where people are screaming at the top of their lungs and feeling happy like they've never felt before. Yeah! Nothing could have prepared me for the experience that was coming to a place so wholly, beautifully accepting, so like-minded, like-individualed, so full of exactly the kind of joy I just want to be exuding at all times. It feels like an amplifier is held up to my heart and ever since that day, my heart's just been so full of love for this place. And I'll just never forget the first time I felt that, how life-changing that was. Camp does not run on unicorn magic. <laughs> we need money. <laughs> and that's it. We're a 501c3, um, which is a you know registered official nonprofit organization, and we seriously rely on donations from mm -hmm. generous people to help us pay our bills, to help us pay for camp, um, for all of the needs of a growing organization. We have a lot of dreams as a team. One of them is definitely, uh, as always, just offering campers more opportunities right. to be at camp. Welcome, welcome, welcome. One of our values with, with Brave Trails is that we never want to turn away a camper because they can't pay. We know that traditionally summer camp is a pretty expensive venture for folks. Uh, it's pretty upper class, it's very white, and us as an organization, it's really important to change that narrative. I really appreciated how enclosed this and safe this space was inherently. like. You can, you're free to be completely yourself and there you can ask for consent. It's totally fine to say, hey, I have anxiety. And someone would be like, okay, and won't shame you for having any sort of mental illness or anything of the sort. Coming here to camp my first year was the first time that I'd met someone who was uh, openly trans, who was more than two years older. Um, and so just having like that exposure to other people who are like you, who are like, have made it to adulthood, like, you don't realize that you don't have that until you get it, and you're like, how have I been missing this? What else? I know you want I to think something staff. for me, for staff, would be to be able to pay for our staff to come. We luckily have had such amazing volunteers that take all of their time to come. It does cost for us to even have our staff there, so, you even know, we're paying for their meals and their room and board, so we still mm -hmm. are paying for them to be there, even when they're volunteering. Um, but it would be great to be able to afford one day. To For sustainability, yeah, too. Absolutely. I think we want our organization to be sustainable, and volunteers are incredible, but it's hard to find 80 volunteers for a summer um, instead of just investing in a handful of people who we can really train and really grow with. I think uh, a big part of the leadership experience for me at Brave Trails has been related to activism. We have a lot of really great workshops and have a lot of great conversations around uh, social justice. I think I'll be bringing back a lot more confidence within myself, back to my community, and hopefully creating a GSA at my school. Now I'm living in San Francisco and I'm going to college there and um, I'm hoping to be a public speaker and an advocate for LGBTQ rights um, in a career setting and Brave Trails is helping me get there as well. Um, just, you know, by giving me all these like different skills and stuff. One of our largest goals would be to eventually have our own site um, where we could run Brave Trails programming all year round. We have a lot of specific needs as an LGBTQ camp, whether that's gender neutral restrooms and, um, you know, different housing needs. We completely eradicate gender from our entire camp. Mm -hmm. And so to be to be able to, instead of going into a camp that's set up very gendered um, and, you know, showers are set up a certain way, um, to be able to build and to really imagine a space that works for our campers and works for our kids um, would be extremely beneficial yeah. and really, really cool. And I think our larger dream is being able to have satellite locations mm -hmm. around the country. 
Um, and that takes more staff. I was um, going to say, to have satellite locations, locations, we would need directors in each of those locations, which would cost us. We're leaning on our community and our donor base to really be able um, to come through and, and help us, you know, give whether that's giving on a monthly basis for five to ten dollars a month mm -hmm. or um, you know some can give more and and really every one of those dollars we're, we're extremely transparent about where all of that money goes and not only donating um, money in that respect individual donors are wonderful and mm -hmm. and we we value and love you and need you um, but also we do have a program where you can donate stocks um, and that that is immensely helpful for us, as well as in-kind donations. So if you have some sort of service to offer us or you want to sponsor our t-shirts because you run a t-shirt company, mm -hmm. um, things like that are yeah, hugely you valuable. you want to sponsor the snacks for camp. We have snacks at camp. We have t-shirts. We have art supplies. I think everybody kind of has a connection in their life. And um, it, it is, you'd be surprised at you know, how much those little things add up. And so when we have a community really pulling through um, it really, yeah, yeah it yeah. helps the, the, you know, few thousand dollars we spent on t-shirts could go to bringing more campers yeah. to camp. And if you work for a company that you think might be supportive, um, corporate sponsorship is something we really, really need mm -hmm. and, and value as well. Yeah. Lots of ways to give. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, please give. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please give. Please, please give. give. One, <laughs> two, three. Thank you!